Psalms chapter 8, what a wonderful, great name we got in God. And behind that name, mightiness. And we're going to talk about creation. Remember, creation was all by God's mouth. Let there be. To the chief musician, again, a psalm is a, a song to him, upon Gitta, a psalm of David. Now, Gitta is wine press. So in the time of, of harvest, where we pick up this hymn. And we also pick up an interesting fact is that the first printed Bible by Johannes Gutenberg, the first printing press was a wine press made into printing the first Bible. Eight in the Bible, Psalm 8, 8 is a number of new beginnings. O Lord, our Lord. All right, capital L's, O-R-D, Jehovah, Lord, capital L, this is any man. Jesus Christ, King of Kings, all capital K-I-N-G, small K-I-N-G-S, Lord of Lords, capital L-O-R-D, little L-O-R-D-S. We do have human rulership and we're supposed to have human rulership but over that rulership is God Jesus in the house the Bible says the husband and the father is to be in charge there's God in charge Jesus the husband the wife then the children how excellent is thy name the Bible goes and says that there's no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved there's no other important name there is no name in the matchless of the heavens but the name of Jesus Christ. Thou shalt call his name Jesus shall he, he shall save his people from their sins. You shall call him Emmanuel. Interpret God with us. Kind of funny how the Jehovah Witnesses don't believe that. Ask him about Emmanuel. I'm, I hope I'll do next time I see a Jehovah Witness. In all the earth Buddha is no name. Allah is no name. Presbyterian Baptists are no names. Joe, Thomas, Sally, there are no names. There is only one name in the heavens and the earth. That name is Jesus Christ. Who has set thy glory... Talk about God above the heaven. Three heavens, not seven. Now, in particular, now watch this verse here, because it's quoted in the Bible. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, little babies and children upon the breast, hast thou ordained strength because of thy enemy. Now, you just say, oh, that's just, you know, just a Bible verse. Well, let's take our Bible to Matthew 21. Matthew 21, and we'll see something quite interesting with the scripture. Now, you can't change the Bible. There are people who do. And you ruin the cross references. And we're going to look at Matthew 21, verse 15. And in verse 16, where it's quoted from, but verse 15 in Matthew 21. And when the chief priest always gave Jesus a hard time, and scribes always gave Jesus a hard time, saw the wonderful things that he, Jesus, did, and the children crying in the temple, and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, Jesus. They were sore displeased, and he said, Jesus said unto, I'm excuse, and said unto him, Jesus, this is, a, this is the scribes and the high priest, hearest thou what they say? And Jesus said unto him, yea, all right, quoting the verse we are in Psalm, have you never read out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, thou hast perfected praise. All right, let's run over to Psalms where we find it. Psalms 8, verse 2. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, has thou ordained strength because of thy enemies. Why didn't Jesus say because of thy enemies? Because there's the scribes and there's the chief priests that were talking to him. And they were enemies of Jesus Christ. Every time Jesus did something good, they got angry 
is furious and ruffled the feathers. I bet you're not going to find that in a modern Bible. That thou mightest still the enemy with the Avenger. The, the, the Pharisees, the scribes and all that, they couldn't say anything after that. They could. They come up to him and say, Jesus, is it right to, to pay taxes? Give me a coin. Give me a penny. Whose inscriptions on it? Well, Caesar's. Render that with Caesar's and Caesar's. Render to God with his God. They were put to silence. Scripture with scripture. When I consider thy heaven, thy heaven, God's heaven, you know, he's got the whole world in his hand. Well, okay, yeah, but he's got the whole heavens in his hand too. Why limit God? And the work of thy fingers. You know what the fingers of God has done? They wrote upon a king's wall, Belshazzar. Eeny, eeny, meeny. Check the verse. Something like that. He wrote upon the, the stones the Ten Commandments. He wrote upon the ground that, that forced the accusers of an adulterous woman to go away. And there's one other place, his finger. The mighty finger. The moon. I thought evolution did that. The stars. I thought that was evolution. Which thou, God, has ordained. You say, well, God, they're missing the sun. He's in the passage. God. What is man? Dirt, dust, living by God only. That thou art mindful of him. God thought of man. God thinks about man. God did not die for dogs. God did not suffer and die for whales. God did not... Be buried in the ground for possums. God did not come out of that grave for any animal but man. He says, Father, forgive them for what they they know not what they do. He didn't say that about any bird. And the Son of Man, it's a proper expression of Jesus Christ, that thou visit him. Now, verses 4 and 5 can go to Adam, true. And 4 and 5, 6... Seven, eight, nine can go to the Lord Jesus Christ. And I got rebuked highly one of the churches I was in because I, I taught that this was Jesus. The second Adam. All right, the son of man that visits him. All right, Adam, God, they heard the, the voice of God in the cool of the day. And Adam hid. The son of man that thou visited him. For unto us a child is born. For unto us a son is given. And you shall call his name Emmanuel. Meaning God dwells with us. 33 and a half years the son of man visited man. For thou... Has made him has made him a little lower than the angels. Adam, true. Adam was not an angel. And yet Jesus Christ became man. Man carnate. Hundred percent man, hundred percent God. In order to be made man like Adam, he had to be lower than the angel. You know, the angels can never sing redemption story in glory. We will be able to. Jesus Christ. Came lower than what the angels can stand. An angel that has sinned in glory can never repent and get right with God again. I've sinned against God and I can plead the blood of Jesus Christ. And the maximum penalty I will get, I will get wood, hay, or stubble at my judgment. The maximum penalty an angel will get will get the lake of fire for all eternity. And Jesus tells us that when a man goes to heaven, in the Old Testament, the New Testament, the church age, when we get to heaven, we're going to be as angels. No more marriage. We live forever. But there's that bound of angels and there's that bound of the, of the sons of God. And has crowned him. All right. God made Adam a ruler over the heaven, over the earth, excuse me, over all the animals. We're going to see that in a moment. But did he put a crown on his head? No, but Jesus Christ has come back with many crowns. Man gave Jesus a crown of thorns under the curse. 
God will crown Jesus. Many crowns. Crown him with glory and honor. And it can be said true for the first Adam and definitely for the second Adam. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hand. Absolutely true of Adam and absolutely true of Jesus when he sat down at the right hand of the Father. Thou hast put all things under his feet. Everything for Adam? Then why didn't Adam step on the serpent when he started speaking to him and his wife? Why is it Genesis 3.15 he speaks about the serpent being stepped on, being about Jesus Christ, the seed of the woman, the virgin birth, and not Adam? Why does the Catholic Church place Mary as a statue with her foot on the serpent and not Jesus Christ? Adam had no power over the earth and heavens to have any authority to do anything. When did Adam ever stop a storm? And yet Jesus Christ woke up on the back of the ship and said, Peace, be still. Let's see Adam do that. Let's see Adam jump on an ass that's never been trained before and, and walk that ass after Genesis chapter 3. Jesus said, oh, here I go. Oh, let's go. Go into Jerusalem. When did Adam ever say, hey, ravens, come here. I want you to bring that guy some food and don't you dare eat it and you go find exactly where he is. Where did Adam ever tell these birds, all right, down south, I want you to go all the way down here, this place down south. I, I got a place for you when it gets cold. And there are some animals, there are some birds that they have their babies in this spot and they fly off yonder and the babies know where to fly to their adults and they don't have no maps. They don't stop at a gas station to get directions and they go to where the parents are. Adam couldn't have that control. Humans have bird feeders. Maybe Adam and Eve had a bird feeder to feed the birds, but God says, I feed the sparrow. God says, I attend the funeral of birds. Adam, the birds die because of Adam. One day, God is going to put the devil down. Adam couldn't do that. Adam fell to the devil. All things under his feet. Read Genesis 3.15 about the conquering seed of that virgin birth. Even Adam wasn't even virgin born. Adam was created. All sheep and oxen, yea, and all the beasts. Of it. Okay, yeah, Adam was given the authority over the animal. But Adam was so good at the job that God says, you know what? Adam, you're, 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 yeah, I say, you're just amazing. All the work you can do. You know what I'm going to say about you, Adam? What? You need to help me. Does God need anybody to help him? No, he doesn't. Adam can make people. Adam, I mean, God can make people. God can make angels. God can make cherubim. Adam needed help me to, to have populate the earth. The sheep, the oxen, and all the beasts of the field became because God came. Adam couldn't do nothing. A lot of people think, oh, this is Adam. This is only Adam. Well, then you're taking away Jesus Christ as the second Adam. And you're giving too much power to man that sinned, that had no power over the devil. And yet Jesus Christ had his bout with, like Adam did. Adam had a bout with the serpent, the, old, the devil, the Satan, Revelation 12 tells us. And Adam lost. Jesus Christ four, fasted 40 days and 40 nights, and the, temple, and the devil came to him, bam, 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 Jesus won. And then angels showed up to comfort and take care of Jesus, both after the, the trial and tribulation with the devil, and then when he's in the garden praying that the, that the sins would be taken off him, but the cup. When do you ever read Adam had angels? Tell me about it. when did Adam had God came in, but where's the angel? Adam had power over the angels? I don't know. I don't think so. Jesus had Jesus said, All right, you know what? I can call, I forget how many legions of angels. At this moment, right now, I can say, God, send those angels down, and they would come. All right? With me, Adam. I'm of Adam. 
That was my great great grand. God send down the angels. Oh no, take God make the rapture happen right now. I ain't got no power. And I'm of Adam. You know, once Adam and Eve sinned, and God drove them out of that garden and, and he cursed them, that's it. You never heard anything about them anymore. You hear about their sons, Cain, Abel, and Seth. See, we want to give too much credit to the man flesh, the sinner, Adam, instead of the man, the sinner, the, the, the sinless one, God perfected, who was 100% man, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is Adam. This is also Jesus. The Bible calls him the second Adam. All sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the end. There's another place we'll come up. And Psalm says, all the all the cattle on the hills are God's. The fowl, that's the birds of the air. The fish of the sea. And again, Genesis chapter 1. God created, Adam didn't create that. God named, I mean, Adam named them. But God created them. And whatsoever passes through the paths of the sea, they're all gods. One time, well, let's try this as Adam first. You're hungry. Go out somewhere in a, any body of water, throw that hook in the water, and catch the fish you need. Go ahead, do it. You may not. Jesus Christ, God, man, the flesh, in the flesh, the second ass says, Peter, Fish on the right side of the boat. Oh, Lord, we, we've been fishing. Just drop the net on the right side. Of, drop the nets, Jesus said, plural. They dropped the net, singular, and they almost broke the net trying to bring all the fish in. You know what Jesus told those fish? Get in that net. You know who didn't listen? Adam didn't listen. He said, Peter. Because Peter is of Adam. If they had done what God told them to do, the nets, there would have been no problem. You know what Adam doesn't do? Adam does not listen to God. Do not eat of that fruit. Yum, 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 yum. You know the animals listen in the Bible more than God. You know that Baal's ass could have said anything he wanted to say, but he said what God told him to say. Those ravens could enjoy that food. Now they say that the Jewish people say that that food came from King Ahab's kitchen. I don't know. The Bible doesn't say. But if it did, man, those ravens could have sat back and say, well, you know, when we're done with what we have, we'll bring some to Elijah. But man, we're no, that's not what they did. What about man? God said, the Holy Spirit said, give that man a gospel track. Well, no, no. Talk to that man about me. No. O oh Lord, and we're going to finish up with verse 1. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Now look what he said. Verse 1. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Yep. Who has set the glory of thy heavens. And he's going to get to what everything God has done. Okay, after all the animals, after the first Adam, after the second Adam. And David has no idea about Jesus when he writes this. And yet he's speaking about the second Adam. And it's going to be years and years and years and years and years and years and years before the second Adam is born in the manger. And David has no idea. But yeah, he could be talking about the first Adam. And yet the scripture goes all the way to Jesus. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. All right, let me ask you a question. There is no other name given amongst men, Acts 4, 12, whereby you must be saved. How many people on this earth, from the time of the apostles, the ascension of Jesus Christ, Acts chapter 1, Acts chapter 2, how many people have been praised to the name of Adam in salvation? Come on, tell me. That's called religion. And religion doesn't save you, it'll get you to hell. Now, how many people have been saved by the name of Jesus Christ and by the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ? Many and many. And that name in the earth. How's that name going? You pass out gospel tracts. You preach the name. You preach the gospel. You tell people about Jesus. You tell what Jesus can do for them. That name is still being praised to the earth today. 
through the internet, through door to door, through the street preaching, through a, a gospel track, through an open Bible, the co-worker, through teaching your family, to, to witnessing to this person, to the bus ministry, to all the things about Jesus. We don't talk about Adam. My pastor doesn't get up, okay, all heads and all eyes bowed, all heads bowed, all eyes closed. All right, has anybody ever here received Adam? And anybody wants to trust in Adam, just, just put your hand up. He doesn't say that. He says, who has put their faith in Jesus Christ? Raise your hand. And those that are saved, raise their hand. And who has not ever trusted Jesus? Who has rejected Jesus? Who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior? Put their hand up and you would hope and pray that a heart would turn. It's not about Adam. You know what Adam did? Adam built us a hospital right behind my, behind my back. Adam is what took my two wives to death. Adam is what gives us... Uh, uh, dialysis places. Adam is what gives us a police department. Adam is what gives us hospitals and prisons. Adam gives us the crime rate. Jesus Christ, the name above all the name, gives us salvation, brings us into glory. There's no access to the Father, Jesus said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And Adam is death, the Bible said. Everything I said about Adam is found in the Bible. The Pauline doctrine. And all I said about Jesus is found throughout all the Bible. Now, David may have been speaking about Adam. He may have been speaking about God, but he didn't know God manifested in the flesh yet. He now knows. 